Last week, the Acoustic Americana Ensemble and the Balkan Ensemble went on tour. We piled up 19 students. A medicine man bus driver. Along with three faculty members. On a bus for five days. <laughs> and we took off and started doing concerts. Starting in Albuquerque. The second day it was Gallup. Flagstaff. Sedona. Phoenix. And then we finished off in Tucson, I believe. We did nine concerts in four days. This was a chance to get out on the road and perform for audiences that they had never seen before and that had never heard them play before. They're not doing anything but practicing and performing and hanging out with their fellow performers for an entire week. There's a difference between seeing each other for an hour and a half twice a week and spending hours on a bus for five days and performing together. So this is a little bit more of a kind of a real world performing experience. Every night and every day on the bus, um, people would just get together either singly or duets or trios or five or six or seven people and just play and learn new music and jam and um, improvise. We were constantly playing music. We were constantly playing music, especially that first night in Gala. It was so fun and just like everybody would just join in on someone else's song even if they don't know it. Spencer and Stephanie and I were just sort of jamming and Spencer was playing and singing one of his songs. I'm a killer. You're a killer. And it was really kind of uncanny because we were clearly hearing the same melodic lines and, and things on his music. And like we kept like looking at each other, like it sounded like something we had rehearsed. I thought it was fabulous that everyone came together and would just play on their own. I think that really shows how much each and every one of us loves being a musician and loves playing with the people who we were on tour with. The moment just felt bigger than that room. It was a really uh, cool experience. And then of course the front desk got called right after, but that was good timing I think. We finished the song. I really like playing at Northern Arizona University. What I really loved about that one was that we were playing for musicians and other music majors, which was a very different dynamic than many of the other shows we played. That was the chance for the students to just play for other college music majors at another college. The performance space sounded really good. And we were in a band room, so it wasn't a performance space, but the sound in there, again, the sound was great. <laughs> We played our set acoustically, which is really cool because that's how we rehearse. By the time you get to the fourth or fifth concert, they're sounding dynamite. It just felt different to play for an attentive audience. And I thought there was just a great vibe and a great feeling and everyone was really grooving together. Yeah, that was a good concert. Everything sort of clicked that night musically.
chocolate tree show in Sedona. We didn't really know what this venue was going to be like. It turned out to be pretty different than we thought. Uh, there wasn't really much space inside to set up and do our concert, so we had to do it out in their courtyard or garden, which would have been fine except the weather suddenly turned cold. It was a really weird show, but there were 15 people who stuck around in the cold for two and a half hours. A lot of the students are songwriters, and so this was a chance for them to for them to do some of their original material. And you can make someone sit there in the cold for two and a half hours, you're doing something right. It just ended up being almost like a private concert. There were probably eight or ten people in the audience, but it was mainly us just sort of relaxing after a long day and playing some music for each other in, in sort of a strange Alice in Wonderland kind of setting. It was Friday, we were in Phoenix, and I did not know either one of these things. Someone had to tell me, and I was just like, it's when and we're where? My favorite school was the uh, private school in Phoenix. So it was one of those things that's like a perfect situation. It just kicked off feeling really good. They were engaged, they were interested. I was able to say, come on you guys, it's Friday afternoon. Get up and dance to this piece, and they did. Of course, Caitlin and Willa got up and pulled people out of their chairs because they're just funky like that. And then all of a sudden we were doing a conga line. I don't know who started it. I just looked over and there it was. I was just like, yeah, we did that. Education works a lot better when you're enjoying what you're doing. The last two days just like totally fell apart. Like everything started going wrong in the best way possible. My favorite show experience was when one of the shows fell through. And so we were trying to find other venues or bars to play at and Steve just decided, you know, if we can't figure a venue out, then we might as well go to the streets. So we ended up busking down in the part of Tucson where there are lots of clubs and music venues and things. And I was like, yes, that's what our element is. That's what at least acoustic Americana thrives off of, you know. Just set up on a street corner that was quiet and away from a bigger intersection and we just started playing. We looked like such a powerful group. Like we've got the giant upright bass yeah, sitting there and cool. all these fiddles and just like, we were a group. Just making people stop. And is that a group of 13 people playing string band music? Like, what is this? It felt so much more free to me and just so unrestricted and unrestrained and just like the way it should be.
probably played for a little under two hours and in two different spots and had crowds of up to probably like 20, 30 people hanging out on the street corner, just enjoying it. So I think everyone was um, sort of there to have fun and there to make some great music and there was a dynamic that was quite different from the other shows in terms of how everyone sort of came together and made the best out of a interesting and sort of sketchy situation. It was so much fun. That was my favorite, for sure. The last day of the trip, we uh, got up, got on the bus, thought really we'd gotten all of the, the bad mojo out of the way the night before, and that was not true. It was early, and every, was a lot of people early. have been up most of the night celebrating and stuff, so we're all kind of cranky, but like still we're like, okay, we're going home, we'll be home. Like, bye. And I'm from Tucson, so I can tell you, it's only about a nine hour drive maximum. We managed to turn a nine hour drive into a 14 hour drive. That was a long bus ride. And so we set off, and before we even get to Deming, we hit a, a highway that was closed. So we had to turn around, and we stopped at this cafe. In Lordsburg, New Mexico. Lordsburg? Overnight. Every road in southern New Mexico is closed. Could be overnight. Yeah, so for now, grab your guitars and your backpacks and head inside. There's plenty Let's of room. I felt like we were like musician refugees or something, like with all of our instruments and like nowhere to go. We're just like sitting. Nobody's in there. And Steve's like, OK, so we're going to play some music here for the people who get stopped. And we're just like, all right, let's do it. So this will be fun. Within five minutes, people are playing songs and playing music. and. You know, we're having a good time. from beginning to end, I was just so happy. We get to do stuff like this. We get to travel around. I got to perform. I got to go to all these bizarre places and have all these crazy experiences. It felt like it was kind of a gift. The senior said, there's something really special about this music department. You'll just key into it. And I think that's what this trip helped me do. I mean, it really confirmed that I'm in the right place, around the right people, doing the right thing. I like for the music department to feel like it's home away from home for our students. Everybody in this program just really loves one another. Like I said, it's just like a big family. There's really no better way to describe it because these people are my family. Couldn't have asked to learn and grow in a better environment. It's just been so conducive to me becoming a real person. This place has changed me so much. Man, I would go back. I would do it all again. I'm so glad I did it. It was a good experience. I wish I was still doing it. That's it? <laughs> <laughs>